This is part six of our knife making video and we are going to do this in English and Japanese. Knife 作成ビデオの第6弾です。今回のビデオではどのようにしてナイフシースを作るかをビデオにしています。So the first thing you want to do is make a pattern of your sheath and you want to make it, I like to use、um, The styrofoam, it's a, it's, a, it's a thin foam sheet you can get from Michaels. And it's really nice because it's, it's, like it's almost like a leather. So you can use that to, to, draw, your, to draw out your pattern. So then once you get your pattern, you cut. I like to transfer it over to cardboard. デザインを発泡スチロールから段ボールに移しますその後にパターンをカッターで切りますそして切った後に先ほどのパターンを皮に移してからカッターで切り取ります
Now that we got all the holes punched, and we know where the hardware is gonna go, the next step I like to do is go ahead and we're gonna go and dye the leather. So before I dye it, I kinda like it to look a little bit something like this. Stamp your logo, get all the holes punched, ready for the dye. So what I, what I like to do here is I like to dilute my dye because sometimes it's a little too dark. Because it's an alcohol-based dye, I just use alcohol to dilute, dilute it a little bit. So it's about 75% alcohol, just any kind of like rubbing alcohol and it's about 25% leather dye. And here I'm just making a light brown. Because if I use the straight medium brown, it's almost too dark, it almost looks like black. Just diluting it out. I, I know you can buy a light brown, but I'm just diluting my own. The only parts I'm not dying are the parts that are going to be glued. セメダインを使って革を一緒にするときにセメダインがつきづらいのでそこは避けて色を塗っています。So then once I get it all glued, I'm going to go ahead and um, once I get it all dyed, I'm going to go ahead and glue the um, belt ring and the D-ring. I'm going to use contact cement. This seems to work really well with leather. <laughs> Here I'm just scoring the leather a little bit, the smooth part of the leather. That way it can have something to grab when it when it goes to glue. And you apply the cement and then you clamp it together. We were for a couple hours. This stuff tends to dry pretty quick. Once the, once the glue dries, you can come back and you remove the clamps and then go ahead and finish off your holes for the stitching. Just gotta make sure those holes go all the way through. And, uh, and that's all we're doing here. Just making sure the holes are opened up enough. It's like a stitching all stitching tool. And once you make sure once the, the holes are make sure they're big enough, 
you can go ahead and start your stitching. Try to use the heaviest leather stitching string I can find. It's big. It's thicker than one millimeter. Very strong. If you know anything about hand stitching, you just, you know, take your time and it's just kind of back and forth until you go all the way around. And here I like to double up, double up on the string. So we worked our way around and what I like to do is right before I stop the last stitch is apply some glue to each, each side. that final knot inside the leather and then just cut it off. It's not real pretty, but it uh, it's going to hold. You probably hang from that. You probably hang your own weight from that. <laughs> So the next step is going to be I'm gluing in the welt using the contact cement. You want to fit that in there real nice, make it nice and even. And then you take that welt and make sure you get a nice even coat of cement on both the welt and the sheath itself. And again, all the smooth surfaces of the leather, I like to score that really good so the glue has something to grab hold of. So we're going to sandwich that all together and then clamp it down. And the spacers I use between the clamps is just leather and I like to um, get that weather let, wet, make the leather wet so it doesn't leave marks on your finished sheath. So again, I like to give that clamp it really good. Make sure everything's nice and even or as even as you can make it. And give it a couple days to dry because while I'm working the leather, I like to keep it keep it damp, keep it wet. So it takes a while for it all to dry. And then you um, wait a couple days and then come back and you can see it's um, it's dry now. 
remove the clamps. As you can see, the spacers, they didn't leave any marks, which is really nice. If you do, the, if you do that with dry leather, they'll leave a lot of marks in your leather. So at this point, I'd like to take um, the leather and sand the edge. Go ahead and get the edge all sanded up so everything's nice and even. And then uh, get the leather wet again. And, um, or just damp, just enough so around the holes so you can uh, easily fit your needle through. And just like we stitched the D-ring loop, we can start stitching the welt in and stitching the sheath together. As you can see here, I like to double up on the on the string, on the thread. I mean, it's really not necessary, but again, I, I want to make this uh, knife to be used in the field, whether it be for hunting, skinning, camping. So I want it to be heavy duty and hold up to all kinds of abuse. どんなSo moving forward on the video here, you can see we're going to finish this up. And at this point, everything's pretty even because I did sand it before we stitched, but things still get a little uneven after you stitch it. So you can go back in and re-sand it a little bit more before you apply the finish on the edge. ステッチをする前に、え、買わない地を整えましたけれども、さらに少しデコボコが見えるようであれば、またさらにエッジを整えていきます。so on the final stitch again, I like to add a little bit of glue. Put a nice double knot inside the leather. Here's the final knot. Just applying a little bit of glue. And that's it. Cut off the excess. You gotta be careful here because you don't want to cut your leather. So again, a final sanding along the edge doesn't hurt. Finish the edges a little bit. Now we're going to install the rest of the hardware. After we finish the edges. Do a little bit of edging here. Make it real nice. Kind of round the edges a little bit. And then apply some dye.
最後の修正で皮のエッジを整えていきます。So now we're gonna dye the edges. Try not to get anything on your nice clean sewing job. And then once you apply your dye, you can put a nice finish on your leather. And what I like to use here is、um, sort of my own mixture of beeswax, needs foot oil, and a little bit of turpentine. Now, turpentine will actually melt the beeswax. You don't have to heat it up. It'll make it a nice paste, like a natural paste. And、um, a turpentine is、uh, a natural it's a distilled pine, so it's not like a man made solvent. So it's more natural, so I like to use that on the leather. And instead of using gum, gum tracker,、uh, I just like to use that on the edges. 最後,にさ最後に皮を強くしていくためにビーズワックスと皮のオイルターペンタインを塗って補強します。Then buff it all out real nice. That's like a nice、um, a repellent, water repellent. Doesn't make it waterproof, but it makes it a little water repellent, water resistant. Gives it a nice finish. You know, it's better than using acrylic or, or some kind of synthetic stuff you gotta buy at the store. And it will hold up. I mean, this is old world, old world、uh, recipe here. So. so After I do put the rest of the hardware in, I like to wrap the knife in plastic. Because, because the sheath is still wet. So before I、um, you know, set it overnight, I like to wrap it in plastic. So here we're going to、um, go ahead and install the rest of the hardware. And what I like to use instead of a regular snap, a leather snap, is a collar button because it's sort of old, old style, old school. And this collar button screws in from the back. It's a nice little like, screw that goes into the back of the leather. And I like to、um, recess where the head of that screw goes a little bit. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to just recess that in there a little bit so it doesn't rub against the knife handle over time. Sorry, you can see I can, I'm kind of gouging that out a little bit, just making sure not to go all the way through, but just taking the inside of that leather down a little bit. Just trying to keep that hole open so that screw fits through there.、I'm、getting that all notched out. We're just about finished with making the sheath. We're going to install the collar button, as you can see.、And、here it is, just about finished. I want to thank,、uh, thank you for watching, and I hope you can subscribe to our channel. Again, we don't do just.、Um, Knife making videos. We're also tattoo artists and、uh, we do painting. So, like and subscribe, and thank you for watching.
。ご覧いただきありがとうございました。サブクライブ、クスクライブよろしくお願いします。